Hello, this is Mike Lavin for Mind When Blowing, and I'd like to go through the workflow for adding XML to SQLite. Now, if all you want to do is add an XML uh, spreadsheet that you've already created to SQLite, it's really easy. It's actually a two-step process, and all you have to do is basically download some type of SQL manager. So there's managers of databases, for example, MySQL is a manager of a database. Uh, SQL Server 2000, for example, 2008 is a, a manager for a database. And so you need one to manage the SQLite database. And so what you want to do is a great one is on Firefox plugin. Just, so just go to Firefox plugins and look for SQLite manager and download that. And once you have that downloaded, you can just open that up and add an SQL database and then add a table, then import your XML. Just need to make sure that your XML matches everything in your database and everything will parse correctly. But if you're doing a lot more, and that's what this training is all about, then you've got to, in a sense, create a workflow for actually uh, working with uh, larger systems, larger applications, because you're not just going to put an SQL light on the web and do nothing with it. You've got to talk to it with some type of language. In this particular case, we're going to use PHP. And what I want to do is basically go through, first of all, what is SQL light? Basically, unlike a client-server database management system, SQLite Engine uh, has uh, no standalone processes with which the application program communicates. Instead, SQLite Library is linked in, and thus becomes the integral part of the application program. So it's kind of a, like, it says light, but actually lives inside the program itself. It's just a fantastic system, especially if you're doing small to medium-sized databases. If you're doing something larger, you definitely want to use uh, a SQL Server of some type. Now, uh, it's a full-featured uh, relational database, uh, fully contained in a driver, and it's complete with implementation of SQL, and it's fast and reliant, and it's a transactional database. So we're ready to rock and roll with it. Let's come along here and just take a look at the workflow that you're going to need to go through to actually get this up and going, for example, if you're going to be working with an enterprise application. Now let me just give you a little bit of motivation for this, and we have scrolled down the blog real quick. We see we've been working in uh, Lively Fbug on the investment strategies game. And so pretty much we've been working with Stuart Crickmer on this game. The whole idea is we're going to go ahead and use an SQL Lite for the back end of his investment strategies game. So last week we had a lot of fun. We actually diagrammed the entire game uh, using uh, Silverlight. And then we went ahead and developed a database using um, uh, SQL Server 2008. Now we're actually not going to use SQL Server 2008 for the actual project. We may as it grows, but for this mid-sized project we're going to use uh, SQL Lite. But using the diagram tools in uh, SQL Server 2008 were really a lot of fun. And actually, as opposed to me doing it as a programmer, Stuart, I just taught him how to use SQL Server 2008, the diagramming mechanism, and he was able to build his own databases, so it was a lot of fun for all of us. And you know, when the client's doing it themselves, they come up with ideas you, you would not see as a coder, so it was very exciting. A lot of fun. So that whole idea was using that SQLite server instead, and we're actually going to show you the steps in order to get that. Now, one of the pluses of using uh, the approach I'm about to show you is it also works for HTML5, and which is really cool because, you know, uh, we're going to be doing mobile on the web. So HTML5, CSS3, just a great way to do that. And so you're going to get a lot a bang for your buck here. So what I'm saying is you can program HTML5 in Dreamweaver or NetBeams. And I'm going to tell you, go ahead and download NetBeams. NetBeam 7 is what you want. It actually is in beta right now. And it pretty much is similar to Eclipse, running on the same type engine. And it's good for not just PHP and SQLite, but, all, <laughs> but also a ton of other stuff, Java and C++ and so on. So it's just a fantastic software package. And I use it, and I love it. And I also use Eclipse. I love that as well. So uh, once you've downloaded that, and once again, you want NetBeam 7. And once you've downloaded that, you will need to uh, download the XAMPP server. So go ahead and go to this address as well and get XAMPP installed. Now there's might be an issue with XAMPP. XAMPP may not run on your system because port 80 may be taken up. Just go to the config file inside of XAMPP and change that port. I had to change mine to port 49 for example to get it running. Once you've got XAMPP downloaded and running, you're ready to start PHP programming in uh, NetBeans. And uh, you want to now go and get the uh, Firefox plugin, SQLite Manager. And it's very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Just go to the web bring up Firefox, go to Tools, and look for Add-ons. And when you go to Add-ons, you want to make sure that you go ahead and just type in there SQL Server Lite Manager, SQL Lite Manager. And it'll go to search for it and find it for you, and you can actually download it from Firefox. Now, I've already downloaded it, so it's not showing it, but if I go to my Tools, you can see it's been downloaded, and there's my SQL Lite Manager. All I have to do is click on that, and up comes SQL Lite Manager. And as I said earlier in this video, if all you want to do is add databases and create tables and add data, that's the place to do it. And we're going to show you how to do that in just one moment. But see how easy it is? Just hit database and go create or connect to a database. For example, you could just come along and go database, new database, create a database, and then you come along here and you could create a table. 
or you could import a database as well. So just really a super piece of software. Uh, and we're going to talk about who this was made by. Let's go to the help right here about SQL Server. This was made by uh, Renuel Kant, and you can actually go and uh, grab the code off of Google Code, and he used XUL and uh, JavaScript to create a fantastic piece of software. Love it, and this is all you need to work with your SQL Server Lite uh, database. Now, at that point, uh, once you've got that downloaded, you're ready to do a little bit more work. So we're at step six right here. So after installing this, you need to work with the man system using PHP because we're going to have a Flash Builder front end, but we're going to have a PHP mid middleman talking to the SQLite database. Once again, uh, there's great resources out there. We're going to be working with PDO. What is PDO? It is PHP Data Objects, and there's a wonderful library created by Bill Weinman. And you can actually uh, download that using Subversion. And so here's the trunk for Subversion. And uh, and if you're on a Windows machine, make sure you use Tortoise and just put this address in there and download all that. And we'll transfer all those files to NetBeams. Once you have that uh, PDO library, you're ready to start programming in PHP. So go ahead and put everything into your NetBeams. And here's some code that you need to write, uh, which will help you with creating the database in PHP and also the table. Now we could go ahead and go into the plugin. SQLite Manager and do this automatically. But if you're a PHP nut and if you want to uh, basically bottle this up or package it for another application or quick install, you're going to need all this code. So the first thing we're doing is going to create a database. We're going to check if it's there. If it's not, we go through a try catch statement and we just create our database. Then the next thing we're going to do is create a table. And we're going to call our table um, return data. And then we're going to actually kind of strict type some of these uh, uh, variables. And you can see I've got a year. Uh, bill return, uh, bond return, and SP500 and the CPI. But I gotta kind of warn you now. This is this is where SQLite differs from SQL databasing. Is that this strict type is not really a strict type like you might think of in terms of SQL. Uh, this is an affinity strict typing. So when you put a strict type on it like this, what it tries to do is make that the value. So whenever it sees a number that's like that, it'll make that the value, but not it'll code it as a text. Also, you got to realize there's no uh, date or money uh, coding in type of SQLite. And so if you're doing money values, don't use decimals, because what's going to happen is, is that it'll round off, and you'll be off if you're some specific money work. So what you want to do is use integers, add those, and then divide 100. And the last step, step 9, we're going to use that SQLite Manager, uh, the Firefox plugin, to import your XML. So now that all that chatting's done, let's show you the application. And we will do that in the next video.